Arlington. We have made it to the back side of Arlington Park. No children allowed in the park. Now to unload. This is a groom that I've hired to help me here before, so she knows where to put Maria. We got a flat tire on the way, so welcome to my 2020. Now we have to head over to the grandstand to go get our licenses. Here we are at Arlington Park. I just want to show you guys how beautiful the paddock and the grandstand is here. It's just kind of weird with no spectators. It's creepy and spooky. It's really weird. This grandstand is. This is the back of it. And there's the paddock area. There's the saddling stalls. The jockey's room. The racing office up that way. That's one of the main entrances. It's just so pretty. Let's just walk out that way through the tunnel. To the well, we came to Chicago and Katie got arrested. Uh, yep. Got her mugshot taken. Okay. Now her fingerprints. I'll put them a little closer. Um, I know that's like my fingerprint, but some of them looks like I have scars on them. That's so we're here on the back side with Maria. Uh, when you have a racehorse, it's in. They have to, if they run on Lasix, they get Lasix four hours before the race. So in Illinois, we have to sit with our horse for the four hours before they run once they've gotten Lasix. Long time to sit. It's a hurry up and wait game. Yeah. And we're going to try to And Maria just it. wants us to leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> identifiers checking her lip tattoo to make sure she's the correct horse it says in the program but my groom had taken the wrong saddle she towel the wrong number. number so he was really confused saying this tattoo doesn't match the horse she's a five but i was actually the number five and not the number seven
was a trip. We got so we got <laughs> this is what it's all about. That was so <laughs> exciting. That was such a good race. We ran second. We're happy with second. We're happy with second. We're happy with second. So Maria got what's called a special. So she is a random horse that they pick out of the race. They usually take the winner and any other horse and they'll drug test them. So she's getting brought back to what's called the detention barn. And the only person that can go in there with her is a groom and one other licensed person. And they'll walk her in here. She gets her own water bucket that she has to drink from and they'll pull blood and urine on her. And then she's allowed to come back to the barn that we shipped into. So now she'll go in that stall, that guy uses that cup to collect the pee, and the vet will go in there and give her, or well, pull blood on her, take a shot. That's crazy they close the doors. Yeah, it, it helps the horses relax a lot of times, because sometimes they'll just want to keep looking out and they won't pee. Mm -hmm. So by shutting them in, they'll just go in there and pee usually but sometimes they want to go in there and eat all the straw and get distracted but like like she knows what she's doing so she peed real quick and then the vet will go in there and pull blood so this girl has to sign her license number to say that she saw him go in there and pull her blood